Pradesh Chief Minister N Chandrababu Naidu has urged people to have at least two or more children to increase the birth rate for the future. He's also said that Andhra Pradesh government is planning to bring in a law mandating people only with two or more children to contest in local body elections. Standing firmly behind Chandrababu Naidu, Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin has also appealed to people to have 16 children. Why are Southern Chief Ministers asking people to have more kids? News 9 Plus decodes. This is what Chandrababu Naidu said on the 19th of October. Soon after Mr. Naidu's statement, Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin also joined the chorus. But today, as there is a scenario of decreasing Lok Sabha constituency, it raises the question, why should we restrict ourselves to having fewer children? Why shouldn't we aim for 16 children, he said at an event in Chennai. What is the logic behind such a statement? These remarks come as a part of a broader effort to address concerns about an aging population and declining fertility rates in southern India. Experts say declining fertility rate can trigger labour shortages and social imbalances, including a greater proportion of population being over the age of 60 by 2050. How does Andhra Pradesh's fertility rate compare with the national average? Well, southern states have lower fertility rates compared to their northern counterparts, with Andhra Pradesh having an average of TFR, which is total fertility rate or births per woman of 1.5, and Tamil Nadu stands at 1.80, lower than the national average of 2. Is it the first time that Chandrababu Naidu has made such an appeal? When it comes to making political statements on the population growth, Naidu appears to be a serial offender. In 2015 too, the then Chief Minister said that youngsters are not marrying early and even if they did, they were not having enough children. After this, in 2016, he had targeted the rich for being content with one or no children. Not only do his string of statements go against the national population policy, which leaves the choice of number of children to individuals, they are all the more worrying coming from a chief minister who had initially positioned himself as a tech advocate and a progressive politician. Should the government have a role in the decision to have children? Not really. The role of the state should be limited to providing good health facilities for prenatal care, postnatal care and a healthy childhood along with a basket of contraceptive choices. The national population policy states as one of its primary objectives achieving a stable population by 2045 at a level consistent with the requirements of sustainable economic growth, social development and environment protection.